Alrighty fellas, I've been working on the, the snake bearing knife a little bit more. I mentioned one of my other videos that I got the scales off of it and I've aged the blade. You can see I did that with a brass black. It didn't take as good as it usually does, you know, being the type of steel it is. It's some kind of carbon steel, but you know, it's going to look okay. I'll probably do some more work on it once I get the uh, scales finished on it. And I found out in my limited knife making experience that I far prefer to use 3 16ths or 1 8 inch pins. They seem to be easier to work. I've done some with 3 16 but never one with quarter inch pins like this one. Those are probably going to turn out alright. They're, they're kind of hard to cut for one thing. <clears throat> and... Uh, it's just, I'm not used to it, I guess, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. But I've got uh, curly maple scales, and I wanted to show you when they're wet, what kind of grain structure it's going to have. That's going to look real good. I hadn't decided if I want to do aquafortis on that, or just go ahead and use the uh, antique rifle stain that I've been using, which sometimes if it's too dark with that, what I do is uh, take a wet paper towel with some alcohol and rub it back and with maple you know sometimes it turns out a reddish shade other times it turns out a brownish shade so you never know really know what you're going to have with it or I haven't been able to figure it out there's the other side of it so <clears throat> I'm going to continue working on it and I'll be sure when I'm finished to uh, give you an update on it and let you show you what it or let you see what it looks like and Jake's got to inspect it what it looks like uh, when I'm finished with it. I want you to continue to keep the people in, affected by the hurricane in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, I know things have really torn up in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, East Tennessee and Virginia. Some people are just now getting their power back. Some of them may not have their power back for weeks. Uh, I read something this morning of course, you have to take what you read with a grain of salt that the damage is far worse than we've uh, ever been led to believe by the media. But I know from experience with an ice storm we had here about 30 years ago, uh, it was a pretty bad ice storm, people were without power, some of them for a month. It took the landscape, the forest, and the trees several years to get back to looking normal, and it's... You know, it's even going to be worse over there. I don't know if you follow <clears throat> survival skills and other with Mike Reed. Uh, he's put up some footage from up there in the uh, <clears throat> extreme southwest corner of Virginia, which was hit fairly hard by the hurricane of all the trees and flood damage and everything up there. So continue to keep them in thoughts and prayers. <clears throat> if you want to... Uh, aid those people by all means do so but be sure to select something that's going to go to a local group that can be trusted that it's going to get to the people that need it. I don't know if you've seen that the Federal Emergency Management Agency is saying well we, we don't have enough money for hurricanes <clears throat> and the reason for that they took it and spent it on the illegal aliens instead of for the people in this country but that's conversation for another day but try to keep it out of the hands of the federal government which if we got back to the way things used to be we'd be helping each other and we wouldn't need the federal government so the less dependent we can be on them the better off we are I always appreciate you watching appreciate your likes and your support God bless you keep your powder dry mind your top knot